You're listening to the Call Kent podcast, where Kent C. Dodds answers questions and gives insights to software engineers like you. Now, let's hear the call. Hey, Kent. Uh, I'm using the Remix flat routes, which I see you are too, and can't see see dodds.com. And I just don't understand the appeal of the V2 routes. Um, Maybe they're better than the V1 routes, which I never really used. Uh, But I'm just wondering, are you planning on switching to the V2 routes? And I, I really like the nested structure of the flat routes and i don't know if they're going to implement those in remix at some point but i would think they would have done that before this release since they already had them uh so just wanted to get your thoughts on that that was the call here's what kent had to say yeah so um the, here, here's a little bit of history. So the V1 routes um, worked pretty well, but there were a couple of limitations with those. And so um, Ryan put together this gist. I'll see if I can find it um, just by Ryan um, that uh, I can link in the notes of this episode. But basically, the, um, the idea uh, behind the flat routes was to make it so that you didn't have um, so many directories, uh, so much nesting, um, a, a big separation between your uh, layout com- uh, route and y- its children, that sort of thing. And it did that very well. Uh, and so what he kind of spec'd out was implemented by uh, Michael uh, Carter with uh, Remix Flat Routes. Uh, then Michael came up with another idea. I, I'm pretty sure that this was Michael's idea to add a plus, uh, and so you could still have a directory. So originally, the idea was like, let's just make it all uh, a bucket of files, just one folder with a ton of files in it. Everything will be co-located you know, where it, it shows up and stuff. And then you can have folders uh, with an index uh, TS so that you can co-locate other components and whatever in there but um but uh, for all intents and purposes it, there's no situation where you get like super nested uh, but there is some benefit to um, having folders that uh, co-locate a number of routes and uh, so michael added the plus idea where you add a plus to the end of a directory and that still counts as part of the route and the files underneath those will still be considered routes as well um, and so I really like that a lot. Uh, I like having the choice between, um, is this okay to have just a bunch of files right here? Or, uh, is there like a pretty sensible collection of, um, of files where we can have, um, a, a area of my directory structure where all of these things are under this sub route and that sort of thing. And so that's why I, uh, switched to, uh, Remix flat routes, um, it wasn't necessarily because, well, part of it was because I, I wanted to move on from the version one route system uh, because of some of the co-location issues, but also because I could see that uh, the V2 routing system was not going to adopt this. And one of the reasons uh, was because there were some disagreements in the team about um, what uh, should be done about the routing. Some some members of the team just didn't think we should um, change the routing at all. Other members of the team wanted to um, like somehow do away with it um entirely and have it all be config based and so uh, for that reason they decided to just do the flat routes as originally documented um and and then maybe add enhancements later so it's possible that in the future v2 routing uh, could add the hybrid feature uh, where you can add the folder and the plus and all that stuff but um yeah you can't uh, i'm not sure whether that's actually going to happen um, so we'll just have to see what the future holds there. Um, as for me, I'm happy with Remix Flat Routes. I think it's awesome. That's why I include it in the Epic stack as well. And that's why I teach it in Epic Web, uh, because I just think it's really great. And I'm just a super fan of the fact that we can um, have these cu- opinions at all. Uh, lots of um, systems don't allow you to customize the routing convention, which I think is a real shame. So I'm, I'm really happy that we have these options. Hope that answers your question, and I hope you have a nice day. 
This has been the Call Kent podcast. Learn more about Kent at kentcdodds.com and get your own questions answered at kentcdodds.com slash calls.